Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is another video and in this video you will learn how to send an alert from Power BI dashboard to anyone, anywhere. That means you can send this alert to any kind of email address, whether it's a professional, personal or even a school email address. How to do that? How can I achieve this task? If you want to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'll let you know everything. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. This is the sample report that we are going to use for today's demo. And before moving further, let me take you through my data model. If we will go in the modeling tab or here, you will notice that there are three tables. Out of these three tables, only one table actually has the data. The date table and measure table has been created in Power BI itself. Now, if we'll talk about the sales data, so the sales data is basically coming from the SharePoint. On SharePoint, I have a file. If I'll take you over there, you will see this sales data. So this is the file that I'm using to get the data over there. Now go back to the report. Over here, this report is using a couple of measures. So let me show you them. Total sales, it's a very basic measure. I'm using some DEX function over here to get the total sales. Then based on this total sales, I'm getting the sales for 2014 as well as 2013. And then I have created another measure. If I'll show you over here, what this measure is doing, it's checking the sales of 2013 and 2014. If the sales of 2013 is greater than or equal to sales of 2014, it's going to give me 0, otherwise 1. So what I'm trying to get over here, I'm trying to check if my sales of 2014 is above the sales of 2013, then in that case, I want to trigger my alert. That's it. This is my simple condition and it's hypothetical. And if you want to apply it for your own use case, then you can create any condition using DEX expression and you can use it over here. So this is just an idea to demonstrate how alerts is going to work for anyone. Now let's get back to the Power BI services where I have published this report and created a dashboard based on that. So this is the dashboard that I have created using that particular report, which I have published into my Power BI services under the demo workspace. So now using this Power BI dashboard, we can send alert to anyone throughout the world on any kind of email address. So how to do that? So if you will come over here under the sales change KPI card over here, you will see this option manage alerts. So you have to click on this. Once you will come over here, you will see this button add alert rule. So you can click on this. You have to make it active and the name is alert for sales change and we have to give a condition above or below so we are gonna say whenever our sales change value is going above zero that means whenever it's coming to one and in that case what's gonna happen sales of 2014 would be greater than sales of 2013 so we are gonna say above zero and at most once an hour so you can select whichever option is more suitable for you and click save and close once you are done with it, you have to come over here again, click on these three dots or more options, manage alerts. And here now you will find an option which is saying use Microsoft Power Automate to trigger additional actions. Now click on this one. It's going to take you on the Power Automate portal. Over here you will see trigger of flow with a Power BI data driven alert. Here, if you haven't signed in, please sign in with the same account that you are using for Power BI service and then click on continue. The very first step over here is to select your alert ID, which is my sales change one. So it's saying that alert for sales change, click on this. And next step is the action, what we want to perform once the alert has been triggered. We want to send an email. So click on the new step button and type here, send an email. And I'm going to use send an email v2. Please make sure that you are going to sign in with a valid account. So you have to make sure that you have signed in with a valid email address over here. And please try to use the same that you are using for the Power BI service account. Now it's been done over here. Now I can mention my email address where I want to send this alert. So let me say Ajay Sharma. 2061 at gmail.com which is over here i'm using this personal email address again i'm going to use another one which is my connect at biconsultingpro.com 
this would be sales change alert if you want to add any dynamic content you can add it over here and in the body line you can write your message now it's been done everything has been done over here your flow has been saved successfully if you would like to test you can test it from here as you can see right now the sales change is zero and in order to make it one or in order to fulfill our condition to trigger the alert it should be changed to one that means our alert condition is only when the value is above zero then only it should get triggered so in order to do that we have to make some changes in the sales data once it's saved i can go back over here again i can come to my data set and i can refresh this one if you haven't set up the schedule refresh please do that and once you are gonna do that it's gonna refresh the data automatically and your whole process is gonna be automatic but right now i have already set up my credentials and everything and you can see that my data set has been refreshed so let's go and check the report now the value should get converted to one so you can see that it's been changed to one now same thing should get happen on my dashboard and over here my dashboard value has been changed so let's wait alert should get trigger let's edit it and test it we are going to say automatically with the recent values and this is the value that i'm going to use and let's try to test it out this flow is running first task has been completed successfully and the flow has been run successfully so the flow is complete it's automated and it's running fine now let's check the email addresses whether it's working or not here you can see the very first message is sales change alert so i got the message over here now i'm going to check my outlook and here also you will find that the sales change alert the message is over here that means my flow has been completed successfully i provided one my own organization email address and secondly i provided my personal email address and it's going everywhere so this is how you can create and manage your power automate alerts and you can send it to anyone anywhere and you really don't need to just depend on the power services default features you can take advantage of microsoft power automate Stay connected with us. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the updates.